and polyno or rational function, simplify it. So on top, we can start off by factoring out an x, and then we can further break this down into x minus 3 and then x plus 1. And the denominator, difference of perfect squares, we can break this down to x minus 3, x plus 3. So it looks like there's common factors here. x minus 3 cancels those out. And we're left with x quantity or times quantity x plus 1 all over x plus 3. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching this video, and you have a great day.